Hello. Today we're going to make a low polygon wave in Touch Designer. Okay, so let's start with a make a constant at here. And I'm going to set this name to resolution X and 40 and resolution Y and 40. And let's make a grid at here and press activate it. And if you press a W button and you can see it through a wireframe and press this button to activate the constant and drag this x value to columns and y value to rows and yeah so now it becomes like this and we're going to change this uh, rectangle uh, quadrilaterals to alternating triangles but nothing changed because it's a, a mesh type so we're going to change this polygon and now yay and I'm going to set this orientation to ZX plane and then uh, we're going to change this soap to chop so make a soap to over chop and as you can see these points data are changing to this XYZ uh, TX, TY, TZ uh, chop values so I'm going to make a null at here and go to soap and top 2 and now yeah it changed to soap again but as you can see uh, it's different with this because uh, this uh, soap uh, doesn't know uh, the type of itself so we're going to we have to connect this thing and now this soap you recognize oh I'm a polygon so yeah yeah, so it becomes like this. So I'm going to make a noise at here. I'm going to set this period to 1.5 and harmonics to 0. And I'm going to uh, set this translate to apps time dot seconds multiply 3.1 to change it like this and make a null at here oh and we have to change this resolution resolution x and resolution y to chop reference and we're going to make a top 2 of chop and now this uh, top data has changed to this top go to crop and change this crop to full image and it becomes like this but RGBA data is here but we need only one data it's uh, only one R so it contains uh, many data so we're going to change this data type to only one so we have to change this 16-bit float mono and as you can see it still have a RGBA but actually uh, this RGB data is share only one data so we don't need one these things and I'm going to set this name to TY and let's make a shuffle at here and change it to screens channel by name and let's make a replace between here and if we connect this this ty name is same as like this so this ty is insert at here instead this ty and now yeah so it now this uh, sub using ty data from this noise but it seems like uh, this data is too big I mean ty's range so I'm going to make a mess at here and set this uh, multiply to 0 0.3 to decrease this value and yeah now it decreases like this great and now I'm going to make a geometry at here 
and you know, as always, make a camera render up top, top RGB key. Press this button to display, but it's black, so we have to make a light environment light. And I, I'm going to use a noise for this uh, time. I mean, for now. And just set period and harmonies and drag it to pump environment back at here. Then going to make a PBR at here and adapt it. And yay! And I'm going to change this uh, camera's uh, view to autograph to uh, delete uh, perspective. And Press this apply transform and decrease this rotate to change this value 45. Okay, and I'm going to uh, mm, yeah, mm, great. <laughs> I'm going to decrease this metallic to zero, but as you can see, it. Uh, so flat and if I press double button to uh, turn off wireframe yeah it's very weird because in this grid this grid as uh, uh, normal data is just flat so in here the XYZ position has changed but the, this normal data is still flat so we have to calculate this normal data again at here so I'm going to make a face it and if we turn on this come to the normal and yo hmm yeah so great and then if we press this unique points and whoa yeah, so using this unique points to uh, remove this smoothness to show uh, polygon shapes. Here is spear, and this spear looks like have a smooth surface, but actually it's low polygon uh, because this spear have a normal data to looks like smooth surface. So, if we delete a normal data, and it becomes like this, because now this sphere don't have data to how to light up it. So, using this face, it, me it means uh, changing this normal data to like this, calculating by this polygon's uh, point position. So now we're going to make a wave at here. So I'm going to make a ramp at here and go to type and I'm going to change this to circular and I have to set this period to 0 0.5 and then I'm going to change this extent left to mirror and it becomes like this and I'm going to set here to black and yeah and I'm going to type uh, apps time dot seconds so now this page is keep increase so it's changing like this and I'm going to make a composite at here and insert it and yay it multiply this both image so it becomes like this I'm going to uh, make a level at here and go to range. And I'm going if we uh, increase this out low, and it becomes like this. So I'm going to add a little bit to like 0.2. So yeah, it can show the little bit noise at downside 
in here. Yeah. Okay. And as you can see, this uh, shape is a little bit uh, sharp. So we can change this interpolate to easy in, easy out. And now it's more smoothness, linear and smoothness. I mean, easy in, easy out. <laughs> Now we're going to uh, change this position X and Z uh, points, points X and Z position. <laughs> so it means we need a uh, two data. So I'm going to copy this noise and this uh, noise. I have only one data, the mono. So we're going to change this uh, pixel format type to 16 bit float RG. But it's only yellow, there's no two data. But actually, it has. If we turn off monochrome, and now there's on R and G data is here. I have to set this period to 2 and set this amplitude to 0 0.25 and set harmonics 1. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm going to make an R at here. And let's copy this top 2 and shuffle and mess and drag it to here but there's only one because we deleted uh, this as here so we have uh, red and green so we're going to use this to tx and tz now tx and tz at here and these uh, tx and tz uh, values uh, our center value is 0.5 because this noise is offset is 0.5 we can decrease this offset to 0 to set the center value to 0 but mm, usually mm, what well, yeah in my case i'm just using to mess at here and go to range and set this range to minus 0 0.5 minus 0, uh, 0 0.5 yeah so center point is 0 yeah and mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to use this multiply 0 0.3 because this value will be become very big. So we're going to make a replace again, and yeah, and oh, what's happened? Because this data is just only noise so we have to use this txtz value for doing this uh, for make it <laughs> let's make a select to get a data of txt and tz and let's make a mess at here and we're going to connect it uh, this both and combine tabs to add and now uh, we add this value to txt and tz like this and replace and wow as you can see these txt and tz are changed by this noise value so if we decrease this amplitude and it becomes like this and if we increase and wow so yeah, and I'm going to make a, a, this noise again to copy and paste and then I'm going to set this period to 0 and set how much to 0 and go to transform and this seems like too slow so I have to set this 0 0.3 I'm going to make a cross and yeah, 
connected to uh, to 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 mix yeah to mix this to noise image and now it becomes like this and then um, let's go to camera and I'm going to set this auto white to um, 0.8 maybe yeah and let's make a light and I am going to set this light pre-exform to uh, minus 45 and set this part to 90 and it seems like this light is too far so we're going to set this translate Z to 2 and go to shadow I'm going to set it this shadow type to hard and as you can see it's too mm, <laughs> how do I say how can I say I mean how how can I explain anyway so if we increase this shadow resolution and yeah we can solve this problem And now, uh, this uh, height is seems like uh, very strong. So we're going to decrease this value to 0 0.1 as here. And now hmm, it's more, it looking more stable. And I'm going to change uh, some material and you know uh, if we using reflective uh, it'll be more looking good so I'm going to set this metallic to 0 0.3 and set this roughness to 0 0.4 0 0.4 yeah and uh, let's change this uh, noise monochrome uh, this data to color I'm going to increase this offset to 0 0.8 to make it brighter and I'm going to set this period to 4 and maybe it's too much so I'm going to set this amplitude to 0 0.3 and let's change the seed to uh, looking nice color Actually, I already found some <laughs> nice seed. Yeah. So, mm, mm -hmm, mm, mm. are we finished? Oh yeah, it's finished. Yay! Thank you for watching this video. And if you do Patreon for me, you can download this project file. And I'll come back with a better video in next time bye bye